Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have fall vibes again today. We've got two pumpkin recipes and a really good lunch recipe, honestly better than I thought that it was going to be. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. My recipe website will be at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our free amazing supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. It is all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's get started on our fall meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making pumpkin spiced oatmeal, but we're doing baked oatmeal, which is one of my favorites. I also have some topping ideas for you. Let me show you what you'll need. So for the oatmeal itself, you're going to need pumpkin puree, milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife, obviously, for all of that extra protein, rolled oats, baking powder, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. And then for toppings, some of the suggested toppings were chocolate chips. These are the Chalk Zero chocolate chips. Raisins is another great thing to add. And then nuts for some healthy fat. So I have some pecans and some walnuts. You can also add coconut, whatever your preference is. I think I'm going to stick with nuts, raisins, and chocolate chips as my toppings. So I added two thirds of a cup of pumpkin puree to a bowl. Then I'm going to do one and a quarter cups of rolled oats. And we're going to mix that together. And then I'm adding one cup of Fairlife milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice to taste. I like it, super spicy. And then we're going to mix that together until fully combined. Now you can make this in little individual ramekins if you wanted to do individual little baked oatmeals, but I think I'm going to just cook mine in a baking dish and then I'll just cut it into squares. I almost forgot my teaspoon of baking soda. Whoops, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that in too. Then we're going to grease our baking dish. It's a little six by six. And then I'm going to add my baked oatmeal mixture. And then we're going to add the toppings of your choice to the top. So I'm going to do some pecans and some walnuts. I always roast pecans and walnuts about once a week. I like them roasted a lot better. It just brings out the flavor. And then I just keep them in my cupboard. And I love to put a healthy fat like nuts on oatmeal. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the Chalk Zero chocolate chips. And then one tablespoon of raisins. This looks amazing. This is going into a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's cooked through. So I just pulled the baked pumpkin oatmeal out. Oh my goodness, does this look delicious. When it was in the oven, I was thinking there's no sweetener in here. When we made the base, there was no sweetness. So I'm really glad I added the raisins and the chocolate chips. I plan on using some sugar-free syrup on this. I just thought it was odd that the actual pumpkin oat, the actual pumpkin oatmeal itself has no sweetener in it, but we'll see how it all pans out. I'll pop up here on the screen what I think of it because I'll try this before I edit the video, but it looks amazing and it's a great well-rounded breakfast. For my lunches this week, I'm making a turkey melt. I love a good warm, crispy like a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. I'm going to pair this with some fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need a sourdough bread. This one's only 100 calories per slice. It is really good. I've actually had a piece of avocado toast already with it. Just find a really good high quality sourdough bread. You're going to need turkey. This particular one is zero points on WW. Baby spinach. It also calls for tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes hot. So I'm going to omit the tomatoes. I have some aged white cheddar cheese, center cut bacon. Mine is already cooked. Honey mustard. And then I'm going to be using Kerrygold butter. You can use light butter if you'd rather. So you're going to need four slices of sourdough bread. These are large slices. It is a whole sandwich per serving. So if you want to do half of a sandwich, you can certainly do that. This recipe makes two servings, but if you only ate half each day, you would actually get four servings out of this. So almost the entire work week of sandwiches. So four slices of sourdough bread, about a tablespoon of honey mustard on each sandwich. So we're going to put that only on one side of the bread. And then I'm going to spread that out. 
And then you're going to need two slices of white cheddar. We're actually going to break that in half and place one half on each slice of bread. The directions for this recipe are very specific on what goes on each slice of bread. So a serving of the turkey is three slices. So I'm going to put one and a half slices on each piece of bread. And then you're going to add as much or as little of the baby spinach as you want. I would put a little bit of spinach on each slice of the bread. And then I'm going to put one slice of bacon on each piece of bread. You need two slices of bacon total for the two sandwiches. And then we're going to place our pieces of bread together to create our sandwich. Now, honestly, I followed the directions of the recipe, but personally, I think it would be easier if you just shoved everything on one piece of bread and then made a sandwich out of that. But I did follow the directions. I don't know if there's some rhyme or reason for that. So I think it would be, like I said, easier just to put everything on one side. But there are our two melts. We're going to spread a teaspoon of butter on each slice of the bread. So I have both my sandwiches in a skillet. I, like I said, I have one teaspoon of butter on each side. We're going to allow these to cook, kind of warm through, get that bread nice and crispy. Look at how amazing those look. It's giving me grilled cheese vibes with lots of protein. So I'm going to allow the other side to get nice and crispy. Look at how amazing these look. These smell so good. I'm definitely having some for lunch today. I'm going to allow these to cool for just a second. We'll slice into them. I'm wondering if the way you layer the bacon, turkey, spinach is for aesthetic reasons when you cut into it. So we're going to go ahead and slice these in half. I think honestly, I'll probably have a half of a sandwich every day so that I can have it with some fruit. I will say aesthetically, they look pretty good. I think that is what the purpose of that specific layering pattern is for the sandwiches. This half is a really good size. Like I said, I'll put up here on the screen the points for the full sandwich. That is what the recipe intends. And then obviously it would be half of that points, calories, macros, if you only do half of the sandwich. But this is going to be such a perfect lunch. I think I'll just throw these in a pan, warm them up, get them a little bit crispy before I eat them each day. For a snack this week, for a sweet treat, I'm making protein pumpkin brownies. They actually call these workout brownies. I have had something similar to this and they are so good and you can get in some extra protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need vanilla extract, canned pumpkin puree, chocolate protein powder. I am using Clean Simple Eats. This is the chocolate brownie batter. It bakes delicious. You know Clean Simple Eats is my favorite protein powder. I actually have a discount for them. I'll link it down below for you. I love it to bake with. I love it for protein shakes. It is 100% grass fed whey, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. So we're going to be using that for the protein aspect of our brownies. And then I'm using allulose as my sweetener. I do buy my allulose off of Amazon. I found the cheapest price. I will link it for you. It's an all natural sweetener alternative from figs and raisin. So no cooling effect. It's really good. I think it tastes just like regular sugar. You'll also need nut butter of your choice, cocoa powder, pumpkin pie spice, and some salt. So to make our brownies super simple, everything is going into one bowl. So I have two thirds cup of, this is all natural peanut butter. I did throw it in the microwave for 15 seconds because the recipe said to make sure that it is softened. And then we have one and a quarter cup of canned pumpkin puree, a quarter cup of allulose, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, pumpkin pie spice, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And lastly, one scoop or three tablespoons of protein powder. And then we're going to mix this all together. I have my oven preheating to 325. We're gonna pull out a baking dish, probably an eight by eight baking dish. I'm actually going to use a round dish, I think. And then we're going to transfer the brownie mixture into a sprayed, or you can use parchment paper baking dish. I'm going to spread that out nice and even in the bottom of the baking dish. I'm going to pop it in the oven at 325 for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's baked through. So the brownies are out of the oven. Now they are still pretty gooey. You want to take them out before they're cooked all the way through. They'll continue to cook a little bit in the pan and then the recipe says once you put them in the fridge they'll firm up but they'll still remain fudgy which sounds amazing. What a simple way to get in some protein and get an ooey fudgy brownie and I will tell you they smell 
incredible. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. Everything is phenomenal. That sandwich is so good. I mean, amazingly good. And the oatmeal was really good even Despite it having sweetener in the actual baked oatmeal, it was really, really good. Once you added the syrup and with the chocolate chips and raisins, it was perfection. Super good. So again, my recipe website is at the top of the description box, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday. Here's to an amazing week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.